Can I, I do want to say real quick that my girlfriend's favorite film of all time is Home Alone 3. Whenever she's down in the dumps, she watches that film. Since dating her, I've probably watched that movie a billion times. So first of all, thank you for that. It's It means a lot to her. Absolutely. I'm glad your girlfriend likes Home Alone 3. That's like the forgotten the little stepchild Home Alone. So that's uh, amazing that, that she's so into it. That's great. I can I can definitely see how underrated that film is. Like when I first heard that, I'm like, really the third one? Like who 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 says the third's their favorite? And now I think I might be coming around to that too because it, it's got some really great moments and uh, that that kid is so adorable. Oh, that's great. <laughs> if yeah. we're gonna fanboy very briefly, for me it was Scooby Doo when I was growing up. I mean, you know that was that was shot in in the, on the Gold Coast. So thank you yeah. for contributing to our economy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but uh, but also Sean Rowan Gunman Atkinson. Thanks you, <laughs> Rowan Atkinson as well. I mean, you know that that movie was just that movie's got a very special place in my heart. So uh, oh, and the sequel as well, Seth Green. Uh, like I love those two films. They're they're, they're absolutely yeah. brilliant. <laughs> Thank you for contributing to our economy. <laughs> <laughs> that was totally offhand. That was not no, scripted no, at all. Is, you, know the, you know the urban legend of the R-rated Scooby, right? Okay, you got to tell us now. You got to uh, tell us now. I don't now. think I know that one. There's this urban legend that Sco- the original Scooby Doo was R-rated, and which is in fact happened. Uh, there was a we sent to the ratings board, um, and they misunderstood a word that the little voodoo character said. He said Arnuki beast, and they they heard something very different. So they they said no, it's an R movie. We said no, 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 it's not. But the movie that everyone knows is very different than the movie at the studio green lit uh james gunn who you all know is brilliant um wrote a very sort of subversive kind of like what austin powers is to uh james bond this script was to the scooby-doo cartoons and the studio got nervous the main target audience for for the brand of scooby-doo was you know parents and their young children and that's not who we made the movie before. We made it for people who grew up watching it. And now we're looking back going, yeah, I think Shaggy was probably high. I'm Mary Jane. Like, that is my favorite name. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe Velma was gay. I don't know. Who's your mommy? My, my mommy? So that's kind of who we made the movie for. So there was, um, after a couple screenings with parents and their young kids in very conservative parts of town, um, we, uh, we we got we got a couple not less than desirable scores, and so it's like okay, if that's who if that's who you're gonna make us uh, play the movie to, then then we cut it. So a lot of stuff got cut out. So that's sort of the the long story around the that's awesome uh, around the R rated Scooby Doo. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the final the final uh, you know. There's a bit of it. There you see a little little hints of what, what <laughs> it was, but. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're a fan of the of the originals and and the sequel, and thank you. I'm 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 anxiously awaiting the the 25 year anniversary R rated cut. So <laughs> let's let's get it going. <laughs> I've pitched it a few times, but uh, I think that the brand is still too important. The IP is too important. Of course, of course. Uh, I don't think they're going to go there. <laughs> 